Yes, yes, you're on YouTube. Welcome back to the office. So, uh, guys, we're back on the Logitech G920. Um, today, we're not going to be using the 8 shifter. Um, we're going to be picking, I think, a very special race car. And we're going to be heading over to the Nürburgring. And we're going to be using the paddle shifters. Um, so, it's going to be a sequential gearbox we'll be using today so um if you're enjoying the videos guys smash the like button smash the subscribe button feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below what you think to the video what do you think to the uh videos showcasing the two youtube spaces and as i said this one's literally just for sim racing so forza gran turismo 7 and set Corsa. So uh, the car I've gone to pick, I think it's absolutely delicious. Um, it is something quite different. Uh, it's very special. Um, I spent most of yesterday uh, tuning it, getting a very, very good overall track tune on the car. Um, And it is the 1984 Nissan number 20 Bluebird Super Silhouette. Now, guys, with the building tune on this, we've extensively gone in and tuning um, for the build itself. We literally only have race tyres um, on this car. Uh, there's no other um, upgradable parts on it that we've put on. We've literally just gone into the tune. I'll be showing you the tune, the build, all the aspects, all the elements of getting this build ready for you guys to take on track at the end of this video. So I think what we'll do is we'll straight in. Um, and this is gonna be my first Nürburgring lap. In this cam, go for the North Leaf. Time of day. We're going to go noon, weather, we're going to go clear, we're going to go a number of laps, one. No driver tires because I want to get a really, really good um, track time for the Nürburgring. So I'm literally just going to do one lap, time of day, noon, weather, clear. Um, my wheel settings for Logitech G920 are already up on the channel. So uh, feel free to go and check that video out. I want to say a big massive shout out to all the existing subscribers. Thank you guys for being here from the beginning, from Dot Day. If you want for your guys' support, we wouldn't be making the channel, the channel would still exist. We would still be bringing you guys content. I want to say a big and massive shout out to all the new subscribers who have subscribed over the last few weeks and months. Again guys, thank you so much for the, the support all the, the new subscribers are showing. Um, without much further ado, <coughs> We're going to go straight in, as I said, guys. Um, <laughs> with Gran Turismo 7, I do do quite a lot of left foot braking uh, because we're using the sequential and we have no clutch, automatic clutch. Um, and I've really gone in on this to try and get it as grippy as possible as a real drive car. Um, I thought it was something a little bit different than picking the skyline. Um, as you see with the tune, we do have a very long first gear, but um, the number 20 in this Bluebird silhouette is a massive turbo, guys. Um, and to keep the most stability and to put the most traction down, we have got that first gear quite long, second gear is pretty short. Uh, if I go quite guys, I'm just concentrating. It's my first Nervous Green lap in this car, but yesterday we did spend a lot, a lot of time. Um, I've recorded that footage, so I've shot that footage up and show you uh, some of the test laps and some of the tracks and some of the times it holds. 
Um, and I must say guys, what an amazing beautiful car. I'm really, really happy with the tune. Really, really happy. Um, this is going to be quite a reserved first lap for me. Literally, just to make my first lap now I'm recording. Um, I'm all the commit, really consistent. And again guys, I'm doing uh, quite a lot of left foot braking. Um, as you can see with the tune, all the tunes looking as grippy as it feels, it's very, very nice. Um, when I purchased this car in Falls and North Fork, it is 303,000, so it's quite an expensive car. Um, I like the way the devs have now done it so that we can change currency into actual car points. So you don't have to, although you do still have to unlock things levels for the parts. Now with the uh, Nissan Bluebird silhouette, I've got a lot of arch kit on it. So sometimes when you think of hitting the apex, you're going to actually be over the apex. That's probably my own little pet peeve for this car. But once you get the understanding of how wide it is, And you just keep that in mind. It's a beautiful car. Really grippy, really responsive. And again guys, the only uh, customizable upgrade that we have on the car is just race tyres. So you can spec this car out and get more BHP out of it at the moment. I'm going to throw up, um, again as I said, some of the uh, test lap times from some of the traps and all the work parts during the uh, tuning process. And this was tuned up really, really accurate. So for handling, grip, I don't think I'll be doing any more editing on this. And again, this tune and full build, even though it's only got race tyres on, will be at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the videos guys, smash the like button. If you like and subscribe, it helps the channel grow so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And if you are subscribing, don't forget to that bell notification icon to get notifications on all the new videos as soon as they hit the channel. And this is probably one of my favourite sections of the Nerberg. Um, when it comes to Nerberg, I love the whole track. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to concentrate here because the wide arches and this is my first lap ever on the Nürburgring with this car. I'm cooking the tyres quite a bit, guys. I have noticed with the race tyres, um, do heat quite a lot and again the first gear is to minimise that turbo stall so we can get as much traction down as possible and then it's some little bit silhouette. Really disappointed in the two little slips I've had. Probably gonna go for another another lap maybe. Then wide arches can kick quite a bit, as I've said, you've really got to be aware of where you are hitting the apex just because of the wide arch kick on the uh, Nissan number 20 Bluebird silhouette. But um, I really like it guys, really really do like it. <laughs> Got so much pull, there's so much power. So if you're looking for a unique race car, the number 20 in this are Bluebird silhouette. If you haven't popped it already guys, go purchase this car, it's really really good. Really really good. And to rear wheel drive cars it can be very, very wild.
and especially with a big turbo like this. But with this tune, I think we've got this power delivery as smooth as possible. And don't be afraid to gear down to first gear. We'll do 180 mile an hour in first gear. And again, without that long gear, guys, um, launch is kind of hard. Um, overall track time is kind of hard. That's literally just the turbo spill. This is not going to be a quick lap for me. So again guys, if you enjoy the content, enjoy the videos, uh, if you think it's a new setup, I really like it. We've moved the uh, rig closer, uh, so we've freed up a lot of room, we've got some shelves in the pot and stuff. Um, with the Nissan Bluebird Silhouette, we don't have a spine speed box, but again guys, I think it's like 536 bhp of stock. We are getting a very beasty engine. And again guys, I just wanted to tune this to it drivable. Really grippy, really responsive. Best lap. Mm. I think we could shave this current BHP. I think we could shave like, I don't know, maybe a second, second half, maybe two seconds off. I think what we'll do guys, we'll have a look at the replay. Um, the game as you'll see, with the number 20, we sat one of them in the silhouette. The wide arch of the car is at the front, it's pretty high, but the back is shout. So, um, the placement on track when you take your racing lines is one to kind of get used to. As I said, this is my first lap ever on the Nürburgring with this car, uh, this tune. Uh, I'm really pleased with it, to be honest. Uh, we're going to watch this replay back, literally just because I want to see how far over the apex we actually are. Um, it's just to not get out of the future. Just on what part it was actually around the line that actually hit over the apex. Um, when it comes to race cars, um, I know a lot of them do have wide arch kits. So if we are racing on triple thing, mainly like road cars, um, it will take you some time just to adjust your racing line when it comes to going to a race car with a wide arch kit, a wide body car. Um, especially if we're you used to going on a certain track with Pacific racing lines. Um, I'm very used to the Nürburg, uh, but typically only in road cars. Um, and I don't typically like my cars because it's a tough nice to do some car. When you put it on, I usually don't bother at least literally just for that. But I thought for myself, for the rig setup, for everything, for you guys, my subscribers, I thought I'd give you a really, really cool car. I think the uh, 1984 Nissan 20 Bluebird Silhouette is just phenomenal. I think it's very unique. Um, performance, handling is really, really good. Um, it's really fun to tune. As I said, this tune is going to be at the end of the video, so <laughs> no pun intended, but stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to be bringing you guys some more Forza Motorsports content. I'm going to be bringing you guys some more Grand Turismo 7 content. Uh, stay tuned for the set of the content. I'm really wanted to go to the uh, SRP, Shitoko Revival Project. 
and the new Sunlight Hezai. Um, with Dave Grant says, not selling stuff. We've got a couple of uh, tune tutorials. So they are going to be all rock tutorials, but I just thought that Dave Grant said, go for it. It's a nice game. Uh, so again guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below what you think to my first time out in the Nissan Mi 20 Bluebird Silhouette. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think the car's just phenomenal looking and some are a bit different as well than the Skyline. Again the engine's phenomenal, pulling the car's phenomenal. Done my best with the overall tune for spin of power delivery, um, overall performance, um, sharp and responsive handling. <coughs> so, yeah, guys, I think my slip's coming up shortly. I think I don't know if I've missed it. Not sure. Um, we want more wheel settings for Ford Motorsports. We are on the Xbox Series S. Um, there is a video regarding the Nintendo wheel settings. Um, but I literally don't do much at all. I literally just turn down the force feedback on the Logitech. This is Ford Motorsports. It is pretty heavy steering. Um, as I've said, guys, if you're going to be heat shifter, clutch. <laughs> Do you know what? I'll take that. It's not that bad. I'll take that. Not that bad at all. Again, from the first time round. Ran a bit wide there, but um, I presume that's just from the heat and generated in the tyres. Um, again, Forza Motorsports, the race tyres, you don't find any sort of excess stress and really the tyres are really, really quick. I don't know, next three you will feel that, it's just dead like mine. Uh, again, when it comes to line arch kits and race cars, um, you will have to just erase the line slightly. Well, until that, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'm going to leave you the rest of this replay at the end of the times. We will pull on a few other tracks during the tune process and also the tune build for you guys. Until the next video, happy racing, stay safe, peace.
pretty lights. Look me in the face, tell me that you love.